hey, hey. I really hope that you all are having a good night. So I wanted to come on because, you know, God really needs somebody to know that on today that you can you can lose out on a lot of materialistic things. You know, you can lose a lot of things that you valued in your life, a lot of things that you wanted to hold close. But he needs you to know that out of everything that you lose, don't lose faith. We have to learn how to keep the faith and how to value that because faith moves God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's impossible to see a move of God to happen in your life. So I don't care what it is that you're going through. Keep the faith. I don't care how hard the enemy is fighting you. Keep the faith. I don't care if you're standing at a crossroad. Keep the faith. I don't care if you're standing at a fork in the road and you don't know what way to go. Keep the faith. It's so important in this day and in this time that we do that. Because without that faith, we can't make it, you all. And God just really needs somebody to just take hold to that today. And so my husband is playing the song in the background that I was going to play. That is by, his name is Charles Jenkins. And it's called Keep the Faith. And I'm going to just go ahead and play the part where it got, it got to me today, you all. I was like, oh! I couldn't help but to cry. So here it is here. This is the part that got me when he was, he was crying out. He was keep the faith. And it was like he was running, you know, it's like all the pain and everything that was rushing up against him. It was like he was down to his last fight, but he just kept on yelling, keep the faith. And I'm telling you, it just broke me down today, y'all. Here it goes. <laughs> I'm telling you all, like today I was listening to that and that just really got to me. I was like, God, somebody else just needs to know that if we could just hold on and keep the faith, we can push through these trials. We can push through this battle. We can overcome. And a lot of things where the enemy is throwing at us, God already has the backup plan together. But your faith is required. If you don't have that faith, you don't have anything. So two things, two important things when in your in your walk with Christ Jesus. Hold on to God and keep the faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Believe that. That's true. I have let I have missed out on so many things in life. It wasn't that God didn't speak that word over to me. I didn't have the faith to go get it. I didn't have the faith to believe that God would do this thing for me because of how so many situations played out in my life. And so people began to come in and they would, it's, God would use them. I'm talking about these were church members. God would use them to see what was for me. And guess what? They went to go and snatch it. They didn't even tell me that God had spoken this thing over my life. They went to go and steal it. And, and that exists today, y'all, yeah. That's why you got to be very careful who you allowing in your circle, who you telling what to, 
because they can snatch what's yours. But God always, you know, he has a backup plan. Even though the enemy is dirty, you know, God will turn right back around and flip that thing. And he'll give you greater than that which they took. You know, God always got a, a, another way made. But our faith is required. If we lose faith, we lose all. Remember that. I don't care what road you're standing at right now. I don't care if you're facing homelessness. Hold on to the faith and keep that. Because God can work with that faith. But if you lose that faith and you turn away from God, it's going to perish for real. It's going to perish for real. For real. And it's going to stay perished until you wake up again and realize that God is God. And, and wake out of that trance. Snap out of that trance you in. Momentarily, we all been there. Again, no judgment here because I've been there. Keep the faith. Get that faith back and get back on your feet. God going to do it. You all be blessed.